Hi, I'm Deborah Klein, a registered dietitian and health director with Organic Liaison. Here's my dietitian video blog, week number 30. My topic is the 411 on juicing. To juice or not to juice? That is the question. This is an important question to address. I'm getting a lot of people, this is a huge trend, that are wanting to juice. And I feel like I'm going to cause an uproar by this video. But this is important. I want to talk about it and let you know I'm not here to take away your pleasure if you really enjoy juicing fruits and vegetables or if you're even enjoying juicing just the vegetables. It's fine for you to have that juice, but I want you to know the ramifications of having that juice. Juicing is not the best. Blending is what I recommend over juicing. The blending, you're still getting that fiber. And it's interesting they've done a lot of research studies on determining where all the antioxidants are. Those antioxidants that we need to prevent that free radical damage, that cell damage. So getting a lot of antioxidants from fruits and vegetables, the whole fruits and the whole vegetables, that is very beneficial. It can help reduce risk for heart disease, cancer, diabetes, aging, cataracts. You definitely want it have fruits and vegetables. It's recommended to have five servings of fruits and vegetables a day, even up to nine servings. But we want to make sure we have the fiber present when you have the juice. Because if you just have the juice, you're going to get a sugar rush. And you know if you've followed my blogs, if you've followed my YouTube channel, I emphasize fiber. I want to help you out to keep those glucose levels stabilized. If you get the highs, you have more insulin secreted, more insulin hanging out, you're overworking your pancreas and you're setting yourself up for more fat storage. So we want to prevent those highs and lows also in terms of your energy. Keep your glucose level stabilized, you'll have energy all day. So juicing is fine if you really, really are into it. I don't want to take away your pleasure. Go ahead and have some juice. Your vegetables-based juice is more beneficial than the fruit-based juice. If you have the vegetables, you're going to get a little less sugar, significantly less sugar, from the vegetables versus just the fruit. But you're still getting sugar. Vegetables are still carbohydrate. So you're basically getting a juice, a sugar rush, with some vitamins added. So you are getting a lot of calories too. There's 240 calories in that 16 ounce juice. 60 calories per half a cup of juice for fruit juice. If you are getting the vegetables, you're getting 25 calories per half a cup. But still, it adds up. Those calories add up, and to just get an extra 240 calories a day, you're increasing a half a pound of fat in a week. Makes a difference. So bottom line, I recommend blending over juicing, and I will have a blog posted, a written blog, on our organicliaison.com website, so you'll get more information about it. So I do want you to know that more of the antioxidants, those flavanols, those antioxidants, the anthocyanins, the bioflavonoids, those are present in the peel. They did an interesting research study on apples and various varieties of apples. The apple peel had 90% of the flavanols versus the juice has only 10%. So you're actually getting more antioxidants by blending. So use a blender so you get all that fiber. If you are juicing, put that pompous back in, that pulp back into your juice so that you're going to still get all those flavanols and you'll get the fiber that slows the absorption of the sugar. Cheering you on to have sustained sugar, sustained energy all day so you have high antioxidant levels in your blood, reduce that risk for aging, reduce your risk for disease. Please have fiber with your juice. If you are going to juice, try to do a smaller quantity and do predominantly vegetables and add a little handful of nuts. That's a perfect balance to the juice. Have your favorite juice, but have a handful of nuts. All right, cheering you on, enjoy.